My name is Brad Levitt and I was diagnosed with craniopharygenoma. It's a tumor at the front of your head on your pituitary gland which controls your hormones. I was getting uh, headaches quite frequently, like I said about three to five a week and that was very rare for me. I was fairly healthy and uh, a couple of times they were pulsating to my heartbeat, which kind of scared me because it, you know, tells there's a bit of pressure up there. They took me to emerge, and that's where the doctor kind of said, you know, you either have a brain tumor or you're going crazy, and sent me for a CAT scan, and that was the beginning of my journey and what saved my life. So my name is Dr. Arjun Sago. I work at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center. I'm a radiation oncologist who specializes in central nervous system tumors. So a LINAC is a radiation mis machine. So essentially what it does is it generates the radiation and then it points it to the area of interest in the patient and it delivers the radiation to the target. So the simulation also involves creating usually a head mask because we don't want the person to move day to day during treatment. The position of the patient has to be stable and we can use image guided radiotherapy to ensure that the patient's position is stable each day but this mask provides that support. And so when we do the simulation, or the CAT scan for simulation, we do it with the mask in place. And now with Linear Accelerator, it really has come a long way over the years. Our ability to shape the radiation and mold it into where we want it to go in the patient and, and as a targeted treatment has really increased dramatically. So this form of radiation is called intensity modulated radiotherapy or volume modulated radiotherapy and these are basically very fancy ways of delivering radiation as compared to the past which was relatively crude and we can basically target tumors now with extreme precision even in the order of a millimeter and uh, treat uh, tumors very safely. All my fears about radiation were just in my head. I think uh, the, the first treatment set it all at ease. I was, I was more nervous and scared, and that was worse than the actual treatment. It didn't hurt, it didn't burn. All the things I thought it might do, it didn't. It's just you hear a little bit of a noise, and, and then it's, it does it a bunch of times, and, and then you're done. And, in the first week or so, really most people don't feel anything. You don't ever see the radiation or feel the radiation per se on a daily basis. But after about a week or two, you start to feel tired. And that's one of the more significant complaints that patients have on this process because that accumulates. And so near the end of treatment, some patients are quite tired and that can extend for a month or two afterwards. Other side effects in particular for brain tumor patients is the chance of swelling of the brain tissue. So if that starts to happen, that usually manifests as headache, nausea, vomiting. The hair loss, which is usually quite a significant factor for some people, certainly occurs usually by week three or four, depending on the course of radiation and it can take time and, and it just depends on uh, a person's hair and pattern of delivery and it can take anywhere from three months, four months, six months for it to come back but it does come back usually a little bit thinner than, uh, than the hair in the first place. Those are the main tr uh, treatment related side effects during treatment. I think those are the, m the ones that people are concerned about. Afterwards, again, is that tiredness, and that tiredness and fatigue can last for several months. I feel very good. I went camping last weekend with my daughter and my family and my sister and their kids, and you know, I set up shop and took down the tent at the end of the weekend, and yeah, it hasn't, hasn't affected me yet, but I imagine it could still happen, but so far I've been lucky. and. I think if it does, you just got to do what you can and when you're tired, you lay down and if you're not, then keep going. Just don't push yourself too hard because you're, you know, you're going through something and you need to need your rest, but in the same token, you don't want to rest all the time. You need, you need to keep your body moving. It's, it's changed my life for the better, it really has.